Hi and welcome to a Via Geo Technology Report. My name is Yannick Fiedler, I'm part of the Via Geo R&D team here at Fraunhofer in St. Augustin, Germany. One of our current research topics within the Via Geo Consortium is human-computer interaction and there the aim is to improve the workflow of employees in oil and gas companies uh, using natural user interfaces. In this particular case, however, the aim is to improve the workflow of seismic interpretation by combining a novel pen and touch base interaction. Let's have a look at how this works. Um, you can see that I have a Vacom Cintiq 24 HD touch in front of me and this particular device uh, features uh, touch and pen input and there's a demo application running on the, uh, on the, on the Vacom and uh, the idea behind this is that a user can move, zoom and rotate the seismic slice using uh, finger gestures and draw and interpret on it using the pen. We already conducted user studies uh, with experts from the oil and gas industry and found that this uh, novel interaction technique could in fact improve the workflow of seismic interpretation since for instance the user doesn't have to use a mouse all the time and uh, risk carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, people in the oil and gas industry are already trying to uh, overcome this uh, issue by uh, printing out data sets uh, on a regular piece of paper and uh, performing the seismic uh, interpretation on that. Uh, so in conclusion, the idea here is to replace this, this piece of paper and give the user a natural feeling as if uh, he or she would, uh, would be drawing on a real piece of paper. And yeah, since the vacuum naturally uh, recognizes pen and touch input, uh, the user is unable to place his hands on a, on a display without uh, it causing to react to it. Let me show you how this looks like. If I place my palm on the on a display and uh, try to interact with it, you can see that uh, uh, that the uh, application recognizes it as a touch region and, and moves to it. So this is not what the user wants and it makes the application completely uh, unusable. Obviously holding my hand up in the air like this uh, the entire day to prevent involuntary uh, touches uh, is not a solution because it would cause uh, fatigue after only 15 minutes and if uh, used on a regular basis it could even cause repetitive uh, strain injury or RSI. Um, so uh, in conclusion we needed, uh, we, what we needed was some kind of palm rejection to enable the user to comfortably lay uh, the, their hands uh, on the display. And let me show you how well that works. Uh, I have now enabled the palm rejection and as you can see I can now place my hands and arms on the display and interact with the scene without uh, being afraid of uh, causing some uh, reaction or interaction. Uh, our heuristics and algorithm uh, within the application uh, distinguishes between uh, valid and invalid touches and uh, therefore the user is still able to interact using finger gestures even if uh, a palm is currently recognized. <coughs> now as you can see, uh, seismic interpreters can now use this novel uh, interaction technique uh, to uh, perform the seismic interpretation comfortably and over a long period of time and uh, concerns uh, whether or not uh, it is safe to place the palm on a display or not are uh, completely gone. And yeah, thanks for watching the video and if you want more information on our work you can always visit the VRGU website at uh, vrgu.org.